Well, hey folks, Captain Dave here in the Wolf Den one more time. And what this is, is going to be phase two of yesterday's video about getting the kicker auxiliary engine on the back of the Jetty Wolf. Y'all made a bunch of comments, and that's really cool. I always say comment because I read all your comments and I try to reply to all your comments and one thing that I might have been lacking in talking about this is remember I'm just not out there doing whatever uh, it's, it's all about being in the charter business and I mentioned to one of the commenters, a subscriber, that this is just like I would not be in the serious offshore charter business without twin engines, twin outboards. I wouldn't be in it. I'm not going to take people out 40 miles offshore with one engine. It just is not going to happen. So what I'm doing here, doing a auxiliary engine on the back of my boat, is what I refer to as twin engines for an inshore fisherman. And that's me. Something happens to my 250 Suzuki. It's not a day ruiner for me and my customers. I could still go right over there and fish, right over there and fish, instead of sitting there going, oh, uh, let me call Sito. It's a peace of mind, and I can still kind of get through the day a little bit. No, I know I'm not getting on plane. I know what a 15 is. I've had 15s. I've had 20s. Okay, horsepower kickers. I've had, uh, you know, another thing that I didn't mention in the video, and I didn't really want to have to go here. Okay, I didn't want to have to go to this subject. Is I don't know where you fish, but you don't have power on the back of your boat where I fish, and you drift into the channel, your ass is getting run over by a tugboat or a thousand foot freighter. Uh, you don't have power and something happens along the Mayport jetties and a falling tide while you're put in the middle of pulling your anchor or something, you're going into 10 ton granite boulders. It's just that simple. Safety and continue a chartered day. Oh yeah, the trolling for trout, like I mentioned, or trolling for king mackerel on the beach. All that is the fluff that benefit fluff that you get. Saving hours and saving fuel and whatever, fluff. I know that. I'm a lifelong boater. I've been around boats. I've been around sailboats. My f family has always boated. I didn't fall off the turnip truck last night. I mean... You know, people don't know, and like, you know, if subscribers know me, but the average person stumbling on the, through the rabbit hole on YouTube and comes to this video may not know me, but don't worry. I wouldn't be doing these videos if I didn't have some experience. That's what it boils down to. So I'm going into phase two right now. And I'm going to order the 15 horsepower extra long Merc Pro Kicker. I'm going with this and you'll see a little bit of why I'm doing it. I'm going the Merc route. Okay. I was going to, I could go the Honda route. Honda makes an extra long. I'm going to go per my manufacturer, the people who built my boat. 
absolutely said, the longer the kicker, the better on a 30-inch transom. You know, it's kind of like I used to have trolling motors on the front of all my bay boats that I had. And no matter what, you always felt like you could use a little longer shaft. As you get rocking and the prop goes boom, right out of the dang water off the bow of the boat. <laughs> so this is a monumental moment for me. Because you're gonna have, you're gonna watch me. I don't know. I'm not gonna do it probably right here. This and well, yeah, I'll do it. But I'm spending money, and that's one of those things that, yeah, it's fun to spend money, but at the same time, I'm doing it with safety, and charter fishing business in mind, not nothing else. That's it. So I got the whiteboard here. And I'm going to be putting everything on the whiteboard here. So, right here, the camera's going to be sort of in the way. I'll be marking down Order Merc 15, the date. Then, also today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a tiller extension and the bracket that I'm putting on my swim platform. All right? And you might say to yourself, Dave, why are you getting a tiller extension? Because in all reality, it's a knuckled extension, and I will show you that. And I'll be able to stand in the boat anywhere up in the deck and run the tiller. Until I figure out when and how or what I want to do, connecting it to the engine. Okay, so when the big engine turns, the little engine turns. But just right now, it's worth 56 bucks for one of these um, to go ahead and get a tiller extension. And then, of course, the bracket. I'm going with a horizontal swim platform bracket and then the date. And then the next time I do a video, all the little things that were going to need to be done are going to be put on the whiteboard here. So this is going to be the go-to board right here. All right. Let's go to the website where I'm ordering the 15 horsepower Merc because I'm pretty much ready to do that right now. All right. Here it is. I'm actually going to uh, onlineoutboards.com. They're in Tennessee. And this is the Merc Pro Kicker right here. Okay. One of the little things that I do like that they have is if you see this right here, this is a strap system that's on each side of the engine, each side. And when you tilt this up and it becomes tight, it pulls these straps tight. Okay. And the kicker stays straight. It doesn't flop over when you're running. All right. It comes with, of course, the tiller. It has a steering tube built into it already. And down here you get the large thruster prop. All right. You can see that's how much it is. It's 3640 extra long I've talked to these people several times on the phone sorry I got a program that I could probably video this but I just don't know if I've never used it looking for a serious kicker let me turn let me get the angle here okay, there we go. 2019 EFI pro kicker Okay, 21.4 cubic inch displacement. It's 135 pounds is how much it is. 135 pounds. All right. I haven't had a little Merc in a long time. And then, of course, it has five-year coverage. That's pretty much the basics of it. Uh, it's electric start. Got a... Uh, 12 amp alternator, um, 
what else is the really cool stuff here? Adjustable steering tension control is what it has. Twist grip throttle with tension control. Let's see. Oh, it's going to come with a 6.6 .6 gallon fuel tank and fuel line. I really don't need that, but it would be nice to have. Over rev control. Mercury's five year warranty. And, of course, it comes with oil and a filter. A new one. I mean, they run these at the factory, of course. And it's probably going to have an oil filter on it. So, in the box, you get... This is through the online outboards that they give you an oil change and a filter for free. But you get a 6.6 .6 gallon gas tank, quick connect fuel line, Mercury 5 year warranty, the aluminum propeller, four stroke oil, there you go, owner's manual and toolkit. So, here we go. This is it. This is the day of reckoning, folks. Add to cart. There we go. The EXL. That's the extra long. All right. So that's cooking along. So this is the first purchase. The next I'm going to show you. I'm getting the tiller extension and I'm using the Panther kind of, I guess it's a little adjustable. If not, I'm going to send it back. That's how it works. You know what I mean? If you get something and it ain't right, you're sending it back. That's all I'm going to do. But I'm going with the Panther adjustable horizontal swim platform bracket to put this on and the only if there's a really bad thing, I mean, it's not really bad, but I'm losing my ladder that I swing down off my swim platform because it's exactly where the engine's going to be, the auxiliary engine. So that will be the next purchase that I'm going to show you. I'll show you the shopping cart at iBoats. They had the best price for the bracket and the tiller. And I'll show you why I'm going with this tiller. We're back. I'm at iBoats.com. I looked this up. This is the best price. There are sort of custom brackets. Let me click on this so you can see a better picture. Alright. So, here you go. It's just a regular, my swim platform would be here. Alright, let's see if uh, this even gets bigger. There we go. It's adjustable. It's got um, these holes here so you can kick it out. I'm not, you know, yeah, I'd love to have one welded to the boat. Talk to a local fabricator. That's really getting into just him making one and me putting it on. It's getting into a whole lot of mess. This one is um, $274. I looked at others exactly the same. Aluminum painted black or powder coated black. And, you know, it take forever to get them. And they were almost twice the price. $404 is one that I, I did look at. So then let's go back and let's go to the cart. And, you know, this is easily, if this is not really what I'm looking for, this company, iBoats, does real easy returns. Then the next thing is the Ironwood Pacific 37 to 51 inch extendable U-model uh, universal joint tiller. So let's look at the tiller. 
right. Come on. Slow, slow, slow your computer. Simply down the drain. Okay, here we go. They got the... Uh, so what you do is, of course, you slip this on your tiller. And you want this split here up where you can really see it. Because then it's supposedly easy to reach in because the start or the stop button is on the end of the tiller. You got a button. So if I go back, well, I think I don't think I can go back that easy. And then what's it have? It's got this stainless steel knuckle here and then extendable because that's going to be out on my swim platform and to get using this or be able to use it and break the engine in right away I want to be able to stand on the deck and just steer it really simple you know I'm keeping things non-electrical on my aluminum boat and I'm keeping things real simple there's a there's a pull start on the on the Mercury. So, you know, I don't even have to put power to it right away. I don't even have to put power to it. So that's that's the extension that I'm going to get. So, let's go back to go on back to the cart. And everything comes UPS. So there you go. That's the two next things that I will be checking off the whiteboard. So there you go. That's the first two things on the whiteboard. And I'm going to get them done right now and start getting this stuff coming to me. So when I get this stuff, that'll be phase three. I can't do, I can't do the three. Yeah, there we go. The phase three. So phase one was me telling you about it. Phase two is some of this. Phase three is the next. Getting it. Then there's going to be phase four. Who knows how many phases this is going to be. But I'm pulling the trigger on this stuff and I'm going to get her done. Because I'm getting real busy. I just got off the phone from a guy I know downtown that just wants to take his friends out for a little two-hour cruise. So, all right. Thanks for stopping by. And we're going to be filling up this whiteboard full of to-do lists. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again real soon, I'm sure.